Fragmentary dinosaur fossils have been uncovered in southeast England for centuries, but it wasn't until the 1820 years that they were correctly identified as belonging to a prehistoric, great lizard, named Megalosaurus bucklandii. This discovery marked the first scientifically recognized non-avian dinosaur, nearly 20 years before the term dinosaur was coined to classify these extinct creatures. The Victorian-era Crystal Palace model of Megalosaurus is often criticized for its inaccurate bulky form, but at the time it was a remarkably forward-thinking representation of a predatory dinosaur. It was shown as an alert and active creature, resembling a bear with strong upright limbs and a hump back, though the hump was based on fossils later found to belong to a different species. As larger theropods were discovered, it became clear that Megalosaurus had a bipedal stance, and reconstruction shifted to a kangaroo-like posture. However, despite some early depictions of agile dinosaurs, the prevailing view during the early 20th century was that dinosaurs were sluggish, slow-moving, and cold-blooded reptiles. They were often portrayed as lumbering, unintelligent, and evolutionary dead-ends, whose extinction seemed inevitable. Beginning in the late 60s, the dinosaur renaissance revolutionized our understanding of dinosaurs, suggesting they were active and warm-blooded. This led to the recognition of theropods' close evolutionary link to birds and corrected their posture to a horizontal stance with a counterbalancing tail. Although Megalosaurus remains are still largely fragmentary, more complete fossils of related species like Torvosaurus have provided a clearer picture of its likely appearance. We now know that Megalosaurus lived on a subtropical island in the shallow western Tetha Sea around 166 million years ago, during the Middle Jurassic period. It likely measured about 8 meters long, with a long, narrow snout and short muscular arms equipped with large, meat hook like claws on its thumbs. Its legs and tail were likely thick and robust, and it may have had hair-like protofeathers covering its body. <laughs> 